Last year, Parramatta was the wooden spooners and the laughing stock of the NRL. Now the Eels are breaking records and handing out finals wallopings. Matt Burke joins us now with more on this story. Matt, they are daring to dream big in the West. Talk about momentum, Sandra. Good evening. After inflicting a remarkable finals defeat on Brisbane, Parramatta is only two games away from a grand final. The Eels are urging their huge army of supporters to join the journey and believe. Everything blue and gold is back in vogue. It's a nice shirt, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. At Peter Wynn's score, more recruits for the blue and gold army are getting in uniform, and the Power Premiership player is still getting over what he witnessed yesterday. Oh, it's so amazing yesterday to see the droves of the hordes of the fans, the droves of blue and gold coming down Parramatta Main Street, Church Street. It was just amazing. It brought back so many great memories of what it was like back in the 80s when we had so much success. And obviously, you know, the fans are sitting out there waiting for it to happen again. At Parra's new stadium, that army was out in force. The Eels too slippery for Brisbane, embarrassing the Broncos 58 to nil, delighting fans as everything they touched turned to blue and gold. Having belted Brisbane by the biggest margin in finals history, Parra are now on song. If Para is strong, Rugby League is going gangbusters in Sydney's West. Trouble is, the Eels won four titles in the 1980s, their last in 1986. Plenty of false dawns since then, but Brett Kenny, regarded by many as the greatest of that golden era, reckons the drought may be over. Look, anything could happen. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm that good a judge. I tipped Cronulla to beat Manly and I picked the Storm to beat the Raiders, so it shows you how good a judge I am. On Saturday night, last year's Wooden Spooners must beat minor premiers Melbourne in Melbourne. When you consider last year they ran last and here we are now talking about them possibly playing in a grand final, regardless of how it ends, I think the, the club and in particular the coach and the players will be very happy with the way they've performed this year. Emma Lawrence for 10 News First.